Hey everybody, thanks for joining me for Banks Journal Holiday 19. This is the first time I'm showing the line since we took it on at Way Dangerous. Uh, I really wanted to thank Terry Schindler, Warren uh, Schindler, Dan Jonas for uh, suggesting Way Dangerous to take on the line from them. They did a great job working with the accounts that are currently carrying the brand in Western Canada. And I'm going to do everything I can to make sure everybody's happy and to grow it where it makes sense and just do the brand justice. So, stoked to be working with them. Uh, Banks is rad. Uh, obviously, surf brand. Uh, using, whenever possible, uh, sustainable organic materials to build the line. Um, all the woven labels you'll see in the pieces are FSC approved, which basically means the material is 100% recycled or reclaimed in some way. So the polyester labels in the jackets, for instance, or the wovens are all from 100% recycled polyester. So. Um, yeah, it's just nice that uh, they go the extra mile to do that and wherever possible. And uh, yeah, the product looks great. I'm excited to show you. Uh, so the first piece in the line is the darkness jacket. Uh, this is a you know dark denim uh, colored corduroy with a whale of 12 uh, denim stud buttons, welt pockets, and double chest pocket. Uh, the other great thing about uh, Banks is that everything is more than keystone. Um, in this case, you're 57 for 120, so every single piece has that added margin built in. Uh, so yeah, we can make some more money. Anyway, yeah, 57 for 120 for the darkness jacket. Next up is the this is the gingham. What's it called? No, darkness. There we go. The Mosley gingham jacket. Uh, 62 for 130, full zip. Quilted uh, lining, well pockets, and a little button adjustment in the back here. And there's a nice little Banks logo in the front there, woven labels. This thing is so sick, and I can't wait to put it in my closet. <laughs> 6741 for 140. This is a fully waxed jacket. It's a waxed canvas outer and is a, has a brushed cotton. Uh, flannel lining. So an excellent jacket for West Coast actually for BC weather uh, in that kind of transition season we see. Um, obviously it's not going to be the best for where it's negative 40 but it's still going to do its job here thankfully for us. Uh, corduroy on the collar, double chest pocket, button down, those slip pockets at the front. It is, it's hard probably to see on the camera but this is like a very firm jacket and it'll wear in and in the lifestyle shots you can kind of see how it has kind of like a, an antique, almost like patina happening to it. The more you wear this, the more beat up and like, and rad it'll get looking and it'll just get kind of scratched and rich. So I'm really stoked for this. I think this is an excellent piece and I'm glad that they uh, have all the lifestyle stuff to back it up. That's Pete Mel, by the way, who's an amazing longboarder, just an amazing surfer period. Not Pete Mel, it's uh, what's his name? Jared, Jared Mel, there we go, Jared Mel. Last jacket in line, uh, the folk jacket. So this is a bomber fit, um, full Sherpa lined. I believe this is melting wool. It's a hundred. It's ten percent wool outer, ninety percent polyester. Um, Seventy two for one fifty. Bomber style zip through. Yeah, Sherpa collar, hem sleeve cuffs, all that fun stuff. Yeah, looks good. And the pockets aren't zip or button or anything, they're just flaps. Vision fleece. 31 for 65. This is just a really nice organic cotton. Has a nice texture to it. Kind of like a mini stripe. Uh, the woven label there. I have the blue version of this. Uh, this is the Preston fleece. I ordered it from in stock, which we have some in stock. Same thing, 31 for 65 here. Just a really nice waffle fabric with the raglan sleeves. Into our hoodies. This is the Striving fleece. Casual fitting pullover. 100% organic fleece. Uh, you know, the last two were also 100% organic cotton. Um, 
specialty herringbone, one seam pockets. And that's just hiding on the side there. And then into more of like the branded stuff. I love these over dyed hoodies. This is rad. So embroidered Banks logo or uh, bar logo on the front. You've got your rose smoke. That's burnt khaki. So with these over dyed or like garment dyeds, they'll wash amazing. Um, these are stone washed already, but they shouldn't shrink because they've already been through that uh, cycle already. And uh, yeah, they'll just get more and more lived in and great looking. Um, and these are, uh, <coughs> excuse me, they're that really nice like brushed terry fleece on the inside. So rose khaki. <clears throat> and then there's your blue stone. I don't have the black colorway here, um, but I believe it's been in the line for quite some time. It's a dirty black, there's a blue. Next is the heart fleece, comes in red and black. Just a nice little embroidered logo there with the Banks logo in the middle of the heart. And those ones actually are 38.41 for 80. The NYC fleece, USA, Japan, Oz. Thanks, Journal. 40 for 85. Kind of a vintage uh, surf feel here, logo-wise. This is the warning fleece. Garment dyed stone wash again here for that nice rich blue. 41 for 85. I only have the one colorway of this. This is the spinner fleece. Um, but yeah, just a nice chest hit there. Nice big black logo on the back. 41 for 85. Forty eighty one for eighty five is the trade winds fleece. It's a cool little tropical island. Front and back hit in the green marine. Three decks. Love this logo. Outro fleece thirty eight forty one for eighty. This is a supreme fitting crew. So solid dyed, recycled polyester woven labels and all that fun stuff. Travel fleece, 38.41 for 80. I really like this, it's like a real subtle all over print. It's like got some little birds there and some flowers. Uh, the sprout fleece all over yardage print. It's a garment wash, 80% organic cotton, 20% polyester brush fleece. Actually, all of the ones we did previously are that same mix, including the hoodies. And this one's 40, 81 for 85. Deluxe fleece. So these are a little bit lighter weight, but like super soft, supreme feeling. 100% uh, organic cotton, yarn dyed, plaid, 210 GSM, 4181 for 85. Looks like a cool like window plaid. Same price here, 41, uh, 4081 for 85, ratio fleece. Raglan sleeve, reverse fabric on the sleeve. So if you were to look on the inside, you can see that that fabric on the inside is what they did on the outside. Reverse the fabric. Pretty cool. Same price, 40, 81 for 85. Forum fleece. This is an organic cotton French terry with pulled needle texture. So it has like a very fine, um, I don't know how to explain that. It has like a, the way they have run the fabric, it has like a real nice texture. It's very smooth. Um, it has like cool little slip pockets with the stitch detail there to keep them separate. Mm -hmm. 
the quarter zip thing is happening, especially in, in uh, specialty fleece. I'm seeing a few other lines I'm doing. Uh, union fleece. So there's your half zip through with collar, front pocket. Just like a nice dirty denim, I believe is the color way they're calling it. Yeah, dirty denim. All the samples are mediums, by the way. And then a uh, full zip fleece here. 40 for uh, 40 81 for 85 that last one the, was 43 20 for 90 I missed that sorry uh, there's three colorways here I only have the green um, marine but there's a dirty black and a heather gray in this style um, yeah this is just a French Terry full zip 360 weight GSM Murphy fleece 43 21 for 90 really nice Full Terry fleece, open hem, front and back yoke detail, and they, uh, you can see the front stitch there detail they're talking about in the pocket outlines, and there's the back yoke line there. Very nice. That's, yeah, 43, 4321 for 90. This is really nice. <clears throat> progress knit it's a crew neck cable knit has a really nice wide cable knit actually has a cool look to it and feel it's a real like almost charcoal black heather black is what he's calling it but it's nice dark 43 21 for 90 um, and this is a 12 gg wool blend don't know what that is formula knit uh, 7GG wool blend. I'm going to look that up. Uh, I assume it's having to do with grams. Uh, crew neck styling, raglan sleeves, rib knit. This is a great cable knit. And I believe that when you have the raglan sleeve in knitwear like this, they actually used to be called marine. Um, it's like the mariner version of a uh, cable knit sweater. Grammar knit. This is a 10 GG, 100% cotton, crew neck, intrinsic detail. Now, on this piece, <clears throat> you can see that nice taping in the collar. And uh, on the hanger, you can see the kind of like nice lined look of that knit going through. And that was 45 or 95. <clears throat> to be exact, 45.61 for 95. And then our last one is the across knit. This is a hooded cable knit. Very nice. 45 for 90. 45.61 for 95, excuse me. Uh, great cable knit with the slip pockets. We'll open the label there. Has a Caribou has like a burnt orange look to it, really, with a little bit. There's almost like a, um, a speckling, like a melange in it. Looks good. Woven shirts. Nashua long sleeve woven. These are very soft. 100% rayon. There's why it's super soft. Uh, I believe that's Cuban collar which is obviously really great in wovens right now. They call it the camp collar in this case. Pigment dyed with a heavy wash, uh, which will also contribute to how soft it is, and coconut buttons. And that's 40 for 83. 41, 29 for 86, the unplug long sleeve. This is a retro fitting shirt, as is the last one. Uh, that's why I called it Cuban Collar, because that's what I believe that would have been called for a long time. 41 for 86, as we said. Very nice. Same wash detail. And then there's a contrast stitch through collar there, white on this one. And on the tacky one, it's beige. Micro Corduroy's The Roy. Standard fitting shirt, standard collar, contrast buttons. Front pocket. 
41 for 86. This is a great green, again, that marine, the green marine, some days long sleeve woes it woven, 100% cotton flannel brushed. This looks like it's been washed. It just looks like lived in and primo. Looks super comfy and it feels great. 41 to 29 for 86. Uh, the Vanish Woven, 100% cotton flannel, again, 43.20 for 90 here in the white plaid. This is a yarn dyed check. Um, buttons on both front pockets. And I believe the buttons are also coconut. It doesn't say, but they're, uh, they're not coconut, they're enamel. And then our last of the button-ups, this is the Momentum. Uh, this one is the same, uh, <clears throat> it's the same cotton flannel brush, but it's quilt lined. Um, double, double chest pocket, welt pockets, and uh, 55 for 115. Very nice. I know it's holiday, but we do have some short sleeves. The first one is the natural short sleeve. So that same super soft vintage fitting single pocket in the front, been through the stone wash, camp collared, 37, 45 for 78. It's a cool floral, like almost like hand-drawn uh, floral print, floral at short sleeve. This is resort fitting. Camp collar print on the reverse side, so it gives it the illusion of kind of just being super washed out. The actual material is reversed with the print on the inside. And that's 38.41 for 80. Same price on our next one with the palm trees. This has been stone washed just from holding it. It's a heavy wash, coconut buttons. Front pocket, 38.41, 80. Looks great. Cruise wear. Drop short sleeve, also 38.41 for 80. This is brown horn buttons. And actually this is, when I wasn't sure what those other buttons are, this is the same exact button. So it's brown horn uh, buttons. That blue stone, there's the light denim. Laneway, blue stone, cotton chambray, 100%. This is a really cool pocket detail here. They actually go around the, the hem of the shirt to the back. It's a little different. Never seen that before, actually. That looks great. And that has the horn buttons on it as well. 38, 41 for 80. There's that nice yardage print again. This one looks like it's also been through a heavy wash. Has the brown horn buttons. Uh, this one might be, yeah, this is 100% cotton. That looks great. 38.41 for 80. And same thing here, 38.81, 38.41 for 80 in the bananas with the horn buttons. Looks great. I like it. And that is all of the short sleeves and the end of that rack. We're going into teeth. This is the Format t-shirt, 24 for 50, 100% organic cotton, 145 gram. There's your Reality Peak tee, 100% organic, uh, organic cotton peak, 145, 40, 24 for 50. Uh, both of these have a really nice texture to them. This actually looks, feels a little bit like almost like a workout piece, but it's a little bit more fashion styled. And uh, you can feel the fabric here and that's nice embroidery on the chest. Twenty-two forty-eight for 46, 100% organic cotton, 145. The color blocked and stripes are still selling. The US can't get enough of them. 
Uh, I've got accounts that are selling lots of stripes and others that aren't selling any at all. So it's sort of 50-50 with a lot of other brands I'm doing. So we got that blue. It's a nice orange stripe. Still the same price. All of these are gonna be the same price. The next five, six pieces actually. 2208 for 46. There's a, uh, this is the orange rust. There is a mist green. It's right there. Little embroidered chest hit on this one. This is the Carolina tee. Supreme fitting, 100% organic cotton, 145. Looks great. A nice little Banks Journal embroidery there. Very, very fine embroidery too. It doesn't, doesn't stand off, which is nice. That was a super clean sprout stripe. Nice little embroidered flowers. Ritual's pocket tee. Nice light green and white. Off white is the colorway. And then the last two on that page. The seconds tee in marine green and dirty black. And these have a uh, like, kind of like micro check look to them. The fabric at least. Right, into our tees, 20, 16 for 42. I believe actually that all of them, except for a little bit later, are that price. This is the grammar tee, and the warning tee is coming up next. Excuse me, I didn't realize there's more colors. White and black. My catalog is not showing the black, so there's a chance that that's either a carryover or is canceled, and I will confirm that. There's the warning tee. That print almost looks like a Mount Fuji. Hearts t shirt, ruby and dirty black. And those are embroidered logos. Twenty sixteen for forty two. It's a great pocket tee with a little embroidery on the chest in dirty black and off white. And then the illusion tee, nice little and floral print. And these last two are still the same price, 2016 for 42. So those are your spinner tee with the round logo. And off white and dirty black. And then the trade winds tea, which is that nice palm tree and tiger print. So your prices change here when we get into the more like kind of basics and branded pieces. Seventeen seventy six for thirty seven. That's the primary pocket tea. Comes in a bunch of colors. So there's your blue stone, burnt khaki, dirty black, and off white. I noticed this sample is actually large, so if it looks kind of a little bit bigger, it's because it is large, medium. 
Uh, great basics. I push basics big time with all my brands. I think that, especially for older guys, you want to have as many of these kind of color iterations in the closet as possible. Um, and these are a good price point for really nice tees for 100% organic cotton to, you know, 17, almost 18 for 37 is nice. And then into our branded pieces with the Banks Bar logo. We got all the colors. There's your Burke khaki. And that's the label tee. Blue stone. And rose smoke. So that's one style on its own. So these have all been, um, anyway, they're their own style. Whereas this is called the label staple tee. These are washed, uh, our pigment, wa pigment dye are thin stone washed as well, I think. Whereas these are blanks. Um, there's, they're just a, a, ba a solid. And that's your off-white, dirty denim, and heather black. I don't have the dirty black. The outro tee with that, just that chest hit, that nice Banks logo, and dirty denim and off white. And then two colorways of the MYC tee. Seventeen seventy six for thirty seven still. Sprout tee, just to gain that same embroidery off of one of the wovens and send in a print here. I don't have the next sample. Um, this is the Downtown LA or DTLA tee, and it's basically just like a, a dress tee showing all the different places you can get banks. <laughs> 2016 for 42 for that piece. I do have the climate tee. Clean little front chest hit there, and then our cool like print on the back. That's 100% cotton again. Very light. This is 100 grams. Um, whereas the pigment dyed uh, pocket tees and the Banks Journal stripe tee, the label tee, um, those were 145, so a little bit heavier weight, but still super soft. This just feels super light and supple. And then last of the teas I have samples of is the Relevant tea. And again, still 2016 for 42 here um, for both those last two ones. And this is a great print on the back and on the chest. Some long sleeves to show you. Twenty-one sixty for forty-two for the label long sleeve. Dirty denim, dirty black, and you have a gray. Spinner long sleeve with the circle logo. There's your white and your black. And then that last print from the tees, the relevant long sleeve, 24 for 50. Last two tops, the sprout long, uh, short sleeve polo is 24 for 48. And that has actually a little uh, embroidery on the sleeve of that flower logo. And the drop long sleeve polo. These are both yarn dyed chest pockets. Pants. The downtown pant. <clears throat> So these are chino style crop length. They have two colors. 
So there is your insignia blue. These have really nice slip pockets on the back. And then here's your carob. And they're 39, 37 for 82, which is a rad price, actually. Uh, we're 29 or 98% cotton, 2% elastine for that piece. Um, yeah. There's a hidden coin pocket in the front as well. Um, this one has it, I'll show it as well. This is the downtown houndstooth check pan. 50% cotton, 50% polyester. It's 40, 81 for 85. Uh, that's chino styled, cropped length, wealth back pockets, and hidden coin pocket. A coin pocket, excuse me, is here. And there's nothing on this side. This is the Shibuya pant. Slim, straight legs, cuffed, uh, cropped and cuffed. Leg opening is 6.25, inseams 27.5. These are really nice, actually. This is a cotton linen blend. 40.81 for 85. Now, I don't have the next piece, which is the primary pant. This is just that standard chino uh, fit and style, back pocket, embroidered detail, um, the details on the back right pocket. 39, 37 for 82, 100% cotton. I am wearing the Marshall pants. I'm a 34. These are 40 for 81, uh, 40, 81 for 85. Uh, half elastine waistband, so the, from here back, is actually a like stretchy waistband, which is rad, and then it's fixed at the front, um, and the inside has a drawstring that you can tighten or loosen, uh, just for more fit options. Um, and I'm five seven, so in my case, obviously, I have them a little bit rolled, but these are rad. Uh, they fit right on the bag, and not to get them hemmed or anything. Um, inseams thirty two, leg opening seven inches, so nice khaki fit and style. They feel awesome. Primary track pant, 39, 37 for 82. Just a nice premium track pants. For those guys who need to be wearing track pants all the time. And there's a lot more of them out there than I thought ever would be existing. And then 40, 81 for 85, Haven track pant. That's with the tuxedo stripe, which uh, again, you're seeing a lot of that in California. Um, I know with some of my other lines like Lyra, we have a lot of line, a lot of pieces in line with that tuxedo stripe, and they're starting to sell actually. They sold for full 19 actually. Uh, 40, 81, 35, already said that. Um, and now is when the train comes off the rails. I only have one sample from the walk shorts. It's the Big Bear Fleece walk short. It's 3361 for 70. These are really nice. Um, obviously, it is Holland in 19, so more than half of you will be under probably several feet of snow. Uh, you probably don't need a lot of walk shorts, but it is a California brand and they have California needs. So, but these are really nice. Uh, I think they'd be great, that nice flat white string. Um, and that's like a brush terry fleece, 100% organic, 80% uh, organic cotton, 20% recycled polyester, excuse me, not 100% organic. Patch pocket, cut and sew panel, back patch pocket, Looks great. Um, these pieces, if you have any questions, shoot me an email. I can get back to you easy. Um, that first piece, it's, these are all, they all look solid. I'm stoked. Um, next up, these board shorts. Again, holiday 19. We don't really need a lot of board shorts in Canada. Many pages of board shorts. Accessories, though, I can do right now. Okay, so first piece we got there 
<clears throat> this is the label hat, 1728 for 36. Obviously, all of these are going to be the dad hat. Nineteen sixty-eight for forty-one. This is the Spectrum hat. So dirty denim, or excuse me, uh, dirty black. Here's our corduroy, twenty-two oh eight for forty-six. Trade winds hat. Looks good. It's actually a little bit darker in person. It seems a little bit light on the camera, just a touch. Into some toques or beanies. 1920 for 40 for all three of these colorways. There's your gray. Burnt khaki, gray, and black. And then the made for beanie, which is more of like a cable stitch here. 2160 for 45. And then your embroidered patch, which is this guy, is the Spectrum Beanie, 2160 for 45. And then the Seconds Beanie, 2160 for 45. Um, this is looking really, really floral, floral green. It's not. It's like a nice, it's a, a lighter kind of, um, hmm. Yeah, it's not floral like that. It's showing up really... It actually is closer in color to that, believe it or not, than way it's showing up on the camera, unfortunately. Um, yeah, and then there's a tote bag, which is carryover. I don't have. And that's the end of the main line. There was a little bit left to show you, and that is the PCP collection. Um, so these are limited quantity production. Um, this is just a collaboration with uh, Paramount Coffee, uh, pro the Paramount Coffee Project, which is just basically like an appreciation for cafes and different ways of brewing and different ways to barista and just, we all love coffee. I couldn't live without coffee. So it's a kind of cool uh, collaboration. Um, so everything is kind of themed around that. You've got actually the cocoa beans, um, excuse me, cocoa beans, the coffee beans uh, on all the pieces in some form or another. Uh, so the first piece there is the Paramount Coffee Sharks woven tea. So it's a shark and some coffee beans and the plant that they come from. Uh, these are thirty-seven forty-five for seventy-eight. They all have a little custom logo woven in, and the hang tags are custom as well. Yeah, thirty-eight for seventy-five. The only board chart I actually have a sample of, which is red. Shark's board short, just a little shark cruising with his coffee. It's got a nice washed look. Little uh, snap button slip pocket there. Tiny little button actually, it's cool. And that's 39.37 for 82. The tees are 23.04 for 48. There's two of them. I like them both. It's a rad little pocket tee. It's got like a jaguar on it, and it's eating a shark who has a rose in his mouth. Nice little print. And then that same jaguar is on the back eating the shark in a hat with uh, what I assume is like maybe the some sort of... I don't know what that is. It looks delicious, though. Same price on this tee, just super clean, little embroidered shark and a little flower there. And it says PCP, thanks journal. I think whoever was making this might have uh, been on PCP, but that's fine. <laughs> 67, 21 for 140. Uh, this is actually a really nice jacket. 100% uh, nylon and satin lined. It's uh, snap down. Quilted satin in a lining and a uh, nice big shark on the back. Just a really nice jacket, actually. Coach's jacket. I believe I'll be keeping this sample. 52.81 for 110. This is a really nice, um, relaxed, fitting poolside robe. I won't be sitting by the poolside with it, but. 
walk around the Jordan River. It's a nice waffle robe. Great. Big embroidery applique on the back. And then 3120 for 65 for the apron. For all those guys who just have to have this while they're actually making coffee. Um, this is nice, actually. Um, it's a ban barista style apron, 100% cotton canvas. Nice big grommets there with the belt and with the grommet on the top there with the PCP branding all over it. It's all embroidered. And then finally, we have a hat and a pair of slippers. And that's embroidered. These are rad, actually. They're 2160 for 45. And the cap, which is also embroidered, is the same price. And that has a leather strap with a little the brass clasp and embroidered on the back. And that's it. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email me, js at waydangerous.com. Sorry for the semi-rambling presentation. It's the first time I'm showing a line. I'm picking up the season kind of partway through. Um, yeah, excited to be working with everybody and excited to be rocking a brand that I can get behind. Killer. Thanks for your time.